Hi, this is Cher from Cher's Crafting Boutique. I shared with you a Peter Rabbit junk journal, well, journal, um, that I had previously made. And I didn't get round to showing you where I actually got the pieces and the inspiration from to make that. So I'm going to show you that now. I'll pop that out of the way. Now, me and my husband took a trip away for a night in... Windermere, the Lake District. Windermere, the Lake District. A little town called near Swarry. And um, Sharon found a dream little gem there. Yes, because I love Peter Rabbit. I just love the whole feel of it. Everything about it, it just, it was beautiful. They had this, um, the house that it was all inspired by and it was, was just amazing what you're looking for that there was the original home of Patrick Potter yes I know but I'm trying to think of the words and right now I'm overwhelmed with what's in front of me so I got these I have a little shop just outside the house and everything in it is obviously to do with Peter Rabbit and some amazing things in there. I ended up getting the book collection and um, I like to take pictures by just photocopying the pages and reusing them and that's what I did with these and this is the postcards that I got and there's some amazing ones in there. So this is the book in case you didn't see my other video but this is how I made this book, what pieces I managed to use. Um, in here you have a complete there's tons of them in here I don't think I don't know if it actually tells you how many there is 110 sounds on the side of the box oh, 110 let's just say it's like Peter Rabbit 110 years alright but there's some amazing pictures in here and I'll just give you a little quick run through of why it inspired me so much and the just the pictures are just amazing and when I looked at them I thought straight away because I scanned them and I resized them and stuff on my computer and managed to make them into the way I wanted them for my book and when I was flicking through these I just my mind was just going wild on what I could do with it I still as I look at them now I've got so many ideas on what I want to do with these that I didn't want to use these exact ones. I wanted to keep these so I could use them over and over really. And this it's absolutely beautiful. When I was actually in the house, they had the little doll's house and it was wasn't the original doll's house. But the little crib that was inside the doll's house was the original crib. And they had actually had, they don't, the, like, the relative of Beatrix Potter stepped up and asked for the doll's house. Obviously, that's the thing. But the other doll's house was still hers. And inside it, like I said, the crib was in the older doll's house, the original one. And it had been eaten away at by mice. So they decided not to take the crib and to leave it behind. A relative just said that was just too damaged and they didn't need it anymore. So well, that's what was surmised by the story. No one really knows why they left it behind. But it was a nice little story. And to be able to look at things at what inspired her to write the stories was just amazing. Wandering around to all the areas that nearby that she had been to, the post box, the Peter Rabbit put the book through, or the letters through, I should say. And the little quirky signs as she walked around and seeing it was just inspiring. So I'm just running through these. There's a hundred of them, hundred pictures. There's a 
that one is one of my favourites. I just love that in the shoe. But this was what inspired me and I just couldn't, once I started, I just kept on going. I couldn't stop. And then once I stopped that one, I knew I wanted to do another one. So I will be making another one of these. I might start on the cover tonight. Um, if not, it will be definitely tomorrow. Because I know I said in my comments that I will be starting that tonight. I have done a few videos today, so we'll see where that goes. It's been a mad weekend. It has. Um, but yes, these are all the covers to all of the actual books as well. I have the book collection, as I just said before. And... So it's quite nice to be able to go through these and they're just inspiring on their own. You don't really, when you're sitting there looking at these, you just can't stop wanting to do more and more with them. So the next book I will be making is going to be very similar to the one that you have seen me make in my, well not make, but you've seen me show you through it on my previous video. And I will be putting the next one up on my Etsy store when it's finished because like I said I'm making so much I've got so many boxes full and it's time to stop hoarding it because I fall in love with everything that I make and I don't want to part with it that's got to stop Agreed. <laughs> so that's the postcards that I got and there's some more in here And these are little bookmarks. They've all got their own little sayings. Peter Rabbit one here says, First he ate some lettuces and some French beans, then he ate some radishes, and then feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. Just adorable. And then we have the Tom Kitten one. When the three kittens were ready, Mrs. Tabitha unwisely turned them out into the garden to be out of the way while she made hot buttered toast. I'll just get a drink. And this is another Peter Rabbit one, but it has a different saying and a different picture. And this one says... But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. And then Benjamin Bunny. Benjamin tried the tam shanta but it was too big for him. Then he suggests that they should fill the pocket handkerchief with onions as a little present for his aunt. And Jemima Puddle Duck, which is my daughter's favourite, because obviously it's pink. Jemima Puddle Duck became quite desperate she determined to make a nest right away from the farm she sat she set off on a fine spring afternoon along the cart road that leads over the hill so yes i couldn't resist them they had other ones as well but these were the ones that just called out to me straight away these here were actually what I did onto napkins and there is a video for the printing on napkins and this, in the video I actually, um, I didn't use napkins themselves, I used the um, paper, towel. paper towels, yes, but since then I've been printing on proper napkins and it works exactly the same way so I didn't see a reason to redo a video when it's really the same process so pop them to one side and these are the other cards postcards that I've got I'll pop them out of the way and this one their little dicky shirt fronts belonging to Tom Titmouse most terrible particular and Mrs Tiggy Winkle now I've finished my ironing I'm going to air some claws these are just so cute and then there's this one Peter Rabbit now my dears said 
old Mrs. Rabbit one morning. You may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. And Benjamin Bunny. Benjamin tried on the Tam Ashanta, but it was too big for him. Then he suggested that they should fill the pocket handkerchief with onions as a little present for his aunt, which is the same as what was on there. Which I don't know if that's how they all are. I was saying that one before wasn't. Yes. The Jemima Puddle Duck matches the bookmark. And the Peter Rabbit one matches the bookmark. But this one here, the tail of Taylor of Gloucester. Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Not a word you use very often. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, the stitches of those buttonholes were so small, so small, they looked as if they had been made by little mice. And these were just the places around. This was the bench that was outside. That's a different place, baby. Is it? Yeah. It looks like the same bench. No, that goes with, um, where's the receipt? That's the other place we went to on the way back, which was sign, sign something or other. Remember that big house, castle looking thing? So, I don't, yeah. Oh, well, well, these are on the way back. And there's some little castle ones here that I kept hold of, and I just love this one with the tulips on. And these here. They're from the same place. It is, yeah. Yeah. Which I love these. So yeah, that's what inspired me to actually make the book. And I wanted to share that before I got started on actually making the book. And showing you how I did it. I know I had a look on Etsy and they do have a Peter Rabbit um, junk journal book, well not book In, but instant download, stuff. instant download stuff yes and um, but I never really found something as similar as what I've got here. And so there's the only way I can suggest is maybe is checking to see if there's any free downloads for this online or check and see with Etsy if there's any more put on since. But yes, that's how it inspired me. And I also picked up this on the way back too, which is a little vintage cookbook which I am looking forward to using in a junk journal as well. I've been wanting to do a vintage cookbook junk journal. I just think it will be absolutely fab when it's finished. So, cupcakes. just running through a little here, the way that it looks is just, I love it. Just like your mum we used to buy. So, that was my run through. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you enjoyed this. I have a Facebook page called She Has Crafting Beauty where you can share what has shared things that you've made that to inspire other people really and if that's something you're interested in doing please do come along and join in and I will soon be creating this so please come along and watch thank you for watching bye